Might be asking, well, what's the catalyst for all of this? I think it's a little late, but it's the ridge of high pressure that we normally see this time of year. That high typically takes shape over uh, the south and the, the plain states really in, extending into the Midwest. This high kind of blocks weather systems from affecting us. So we have the rain cut off. The systems go up and around. The severe weather season really is for the northern plains in the northern Midwest. It's very active here. That's where you find your jet stream. But over our area, the high is going to build in from uh, east to west. Follow the red shaded area. That's that bubble of high pressure. The heat dome, if you will, that is going to be building back toward Arkansas. This is the timeline Friday. See how it's covering up a good part of real estate here and it's spreading out. That heat dome is only going to set in place and maybe expand. And this goes in line with that six to 10 day outlook looking into the future. A good part of this region was going to be above average when it comes to temperatures. Notice the heat dome just sitting there. All right, you might get a tropical system that will travel along the southern periphery of that high. But as long as that high is there, it looks like it's going to stick around a while. We're going to be hot. It's going to be humid and we'll have heat advisories that will be in effect. This is all the way through Tuesday next week. I could take it a little further and uh, I would say any time between now and next Tuesday, we might have our first 100 degree day. I think it's more likely that we'll spend time in the middle to upper 90s. Got to see those dew points drop off before uh, really I think we make it into that 100 degree realm. So that's the upper levels. That's 500 millibar high pressure aloft, and that's uh, indicative with that heat dome. So it's going to be hot. Afternoons ahead as we look, and, and we'll update this this afternoon. Forecast has been working on right now, as a matter of fact, but including today 97, tomorrow possibly 99, pointing our attention to Monday, Tuesday next week possibly 99 and uh, Wednesday, Thursday, according to the 11 day forecast of which we'll see in just a moment. We've gone ahead and bumped that up another degree or two hot and steamy with the dew points dropping off lower water content. We could make it to 100 by Wednesday or Thursday next week. This is uh, the latest in terms of the way it's going to feel what it feels like to the skin. A and again today 103 with a peak 105 degree feel this afternoon around four o'clock. But the heat index value is heading into the first part of your weekend. This is European model. It's going to be a little bit different from the GFS. The two are not jiving, and it's because of that system. It's over the Gulf of Mexico or the, excuse me, the Gulf of America. I like to just say the Gulf. It, it's, it doesn't create problems, but you know what I'm talking about. The Gulf 101 is what it could feel like on Sunday, 100 Monday, uh, back up to 105. So if we're impacted at all by the system from the tropics, it's going to be Sunday, Monday with a few more clouds and even maybe a few showers. All, all in all, it's, it's a hot forecast that's going to stay with us, very persistent and uh, long term. In terms of the humidity, let's look at the dew points. Now this afternoon, our forecast model information, which is sometimes not accurate or not 100% accurate, was calling for the dew points to drop into the 60s. Now I just showed you a moment ago, we're still looking at a dew point of 73 here in Little Rock. We got to mix out some of this moisture, and I just don't think that's going to play out. So we'll keep those lower 70 degree dew point numbers and and we'll have to make a little bit of an adjustment, I think, for Thursday. But with that tropical moisture coming in Friday, Saturday, Sunday, dew points go back into the low 70s. And then next week, if all is uh, if all comes together, this particular forecast model wants to really mix out a lot of that moisture, which means our heat is really going to build in. So we'll keep a close eye on that situation. There's just a lot of factors with this. So that's the humidity scale. This is what it's going to feel like. Again, heat advisory is expected to continue all the way into the weekend. We may drop it off Saturday, Sunday, depending on the cloud cover and uh, heat index forecast for those of you that are watching on THV 11 plus. Let's find your favorite location. This is by tomorrow afternoon. Again, you've got a, a, the heat advisory for eastern Arkansas, central Arkansas, where it's going to feel as hot as 104 or better. And this is the peak of the afternoon heat around four o'clock Thursday. On Friday, 107 Conway, Little Rock, 108 Searcy. That's what it could feel like. That's not the air temperature. That is the heat index value. Let's move into Saturday. Notice that in southeast Arkansas, this is where we're seeing some of the push of the cloud cover, maybe some uh, deeper moisture here in the southeastern part of the state. Notice the next day it's gone uh, back into the 101 degree feel or uh, over 100 the century mark. 106 could be the heat index for Sunday afternoon at four o'clock and then Monday. It's, it's very, very persistent. It's going to feel hotter and that also holds 
uh, play into Tuesday. <coughs> Give me just a second. <clears throat> mm. Sometimes that happens. <clears throat> Get a little tickle in the throat. Now let's talk about the tropics. <clears throat> just a second. <clears throat> mm. Part of the problem, folks, is that Tom likes to drink iced tea, and iced tea, you know, caffeine kind of dries out the vocal cords a little bit. So give me just a moment. You look at this map right here. You can take it full. Get it off my pretty little face here, Raj, if you don't mind. Uh, we've updated this map over the last couple of days, and there will be updates moving forward. The chance of development, according to the National Hurricane Center, is 40%. There's a greater percentage that it won't develop into something, but they keep it in that midline there because there is something spinning here and it looks a little more impressive. If we can go to storm track real quick, I'll show you what the visible satellite perspective looks like. You can certainly see a circulation there in Florida. Let me broaden this out just a bit and take it full, Raj, if you don't mind. There is certainly an area of spin uh, near the Florida Panhandle. And if you look closely, just north of the panhandle, that's where you're finding the upper level spin. There could be a surface circulation also developing there. This is slowed down. Let's see if we can speed it up just a little bit. And let me take it a little faster. There you go. So currently it is over the southern, uh, southern, southern Gulf Coast there near Florida or the northern Gulf Coast, however you want to uh, say it. And there certainly is a little spin. You come back to me, Raj, and we'll keep it on storm track just real quick. And I'll pinpoint that. Um, there it is, right in this general area right here. So that's why we're keeping, or they're keeping, the Hurricane Center about a 40% likelihood something could develop. If it's over the waters, it stands a better chance than it does if it's over land. All right, back to maps we go. And if it does develop and become a name system, it would be Tropical Storm Dexter. It's possible. The area continues to drift to the west. So I would imagine here by the end of the week, part of Louisiana, even uh, part of the Texas coast. But it depends on the track of the system.